Uh, this is the fourth Kerry Fashion Weekend in association with Image Magazine and Clarny Crystal. And once again, our main objective was to promote young and upcoming Irish designers and emerging design talent. And I'm really happy that I think we've achieved our objective again this year. We wanted to choose somebody from the Irish industry who already has a collection in production, who um, has achieved an awful lot both nationally and internationally that they're stocked, that they're selling. So we thought a little bit larger um, and we were very, very impressed with the collection of Natalie V. Coleman, the Irish designer of the year for this year. Well, I'm very proud. I can't believe it, but um, it's amazing. I'm delighted to be Curry Irish Fashion Designer of the Year. Um, yeah, it's a very big honour. I'm very happy. Um, well, the collection I showed tonight was Spring Summer 2012, and it's called All the Jewellery I Never Got. So it was inspired by my many years of dating and never getting any jewellery from a man, so I decided to draw my own collection. So it's kind of tongue in cheek. Lots of eco fabrics as well. So very good for washing and keeping the color and everything else. And I started in 2010, so this is my fourth collection. And I've kind of been so busy with it and showing abroad a lot. So it's really nice to be at home and for people to see it and to, you know, to get it out there. And yeah, it means an awful lot. I'm very proud. And um, the one to watch is a person who I had the pleasure of actually seeing their work showcase previously. Um, I think that they have, they've proven certainly to me and to the judges that they have come on in leaps and bounds since then. And uh, managed to put together a, a really lovely and cohesive collection that I think is certainly one to keep an eye on for the future. And the one to watch for Kerry Fashion Weekend 2012 is Laura Jane Hill. Um, it means everything. It's it's like finally getting the recognition for the endless nights of sleep deprivation and you have a passion for something and it's so important to have an end goal and to have the opportunity to do it here at such a professionally run, fantastic event. Everyone's had a great night. I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled over the moon really. If, if it wasn't for the lack of sleep I'd literally be jumping up and down but no I'm, I'm so happy and I, I can't wait to work with Paul as well. And, on um, the fantastic package, you know, and get everything moving with that side of things and the business and get the ball rolling. Yeah, I was delighted to sponsor the prize for Laura Jane, fantastic winner of this year's One to Watch. Um, as part of her prize, I'll be offering um, a brand mark and logo design for Laura Jane and for her label, and I'm delighted to work with her. The accessories designer of the year is um, I'm absolutely delighted and completely shocked because there was some wonderful talent out there. It's just brilliant to have been given the title Irish Accessory Designer of the Year 2012. So um, yeah, it's just a great, great achievement. Um, the collection I showed this evening was, I showed some pieces from my autumn winter collection, some of my favourite pieces, and I also showed some of my summer collection. Um, my winter collection was from the medieval collection, so I kind of used handcrafts and stuff to, um, that had travelled across from the trade routes from east to west in medieval times. And then my spring summer was based on the sea theme, which was called Into the Deep, and um, I just based it on um, water life and movement and that sort of thing. So yeah, I was delighted now how it all turned out. It was great, yeah. But the winner tonight of the Kerry Designer of the Year um, is somebody who is hugely popular here in Kerry. Um, she has an extensive career here already. This is the start of the next phase of her career. And we'd like to congratulate Cloda Irwin. Irwin. It's absolutely fantastic to have won the, the Kerry Fashion Designer of the Year. Um, as a Kerry person, obviously it's fantastic. And 
it it means a lot for creative people like ourselves, like designers, to actually win a title because our, it, we have to do a lot of work for it to be acknowledged and everything. So these kind of awards are absolutely fantastic. We sit at home, we design, we draw, we pin, we do everything. And it's great to have such a professionally run awards um, to showcase our, our wares because we are the little Cinderella's sitting at home sewing. <laughs> This evening it gives me great pleasure just to announce the winner of the Terry Fashion Weekend Special Merit Award and that's Don O'Neill at Barry Hyde. I understand that his family are here, Donald and Men, his mother, so it's really great and these are some of his dresses that he has designed and when you realise that all of the most famous women, I suppose, in the world are now wearing his dresses. It says an awful lot for him. And we should be very proud of uh, Don O'Neill here in Kerry. And I think Oprah Winfrey, uh, she wears his dresses right over to her own Grania Shoga and so many more names that many of you would be familiar with. So it's great to see these beautiful young ladies here showing off. Well, what Don is producing at the moment. I understand that I have to present the award. I think Don is in New York. He's probably watching us now with modern technology and all that. And I think that his sister is here to receive the award. For Year four is always challenging because obviously in the earlier years we have awarded awards to different designers in Kerry and spotted new talents. So this year we developed our concept of last year of looking for national entries to the awards. And what was particularly exciting that for the first time ever we had new collection launches at Kerry Fashion Weekend. For example, Michael Leon, the famous milliner, launched his new collection exclusively here tonight. Natalie B. Coleman, one of Ireland's top designers, showed her new collection here tonight, as did Umit Kutluk, and I hope I pronounced his name correctly. Again, a wow collection. But let's not forget our own. Carl Canelli produced a new collection for the event, as did Karen Moriarty. So it was exciting. We had exciting winners. And this is only the beginning for us tonight because we're opening with the awards. We're going to a business of fashion seminar in the morning, and then we're on to a genuine vintage show on Saturday night. So we've made it to year four, so I look forward to celebrating year 40.